hello uh, this is my electrical dummy load so as you can see uh, this is the TIP 122 Darlington transistor uses the power transistor uh, this is the op amp I did not find a suitable socket for this 8 pin op amp so I used a bigger one this is a, a 3 pin socket which goes to this potentiometer there are two potentiometer one is for the chorus and another is fine adjustment and uh, this is the supply uh, for the op amp which goes to the 5 volts this is the 5 volts and uh, these two are 0.5 ohms uh, which comes to 1 ohm of shunt uh, that I am using for current measurement and this is my power supply that I am using for testing so the good thing about this power supply is that there are two isolated channels so each of them can be set from 0 to 15 volts and each of them can supply 2 amps so if I connect both of them in parallel I get 0 to 15 volts and 4 amps or if I connect them in series I get uh, 0 to 30 volts and 2 amps so uh, coming to the part of testing my uh, power supply as well as my newly made uh, dummy load what I have done is I have set the voltage to um, 4 volts and that is going to the load so 4 volts is the supply that I will be testing and there is another channel that I am using to supply the 5 volts for the op amp so I will check at 3 different voltages so first let's check for 4 volts and I will increase the current setting by changing this pot so as you can see so the initial current is very small it's probably in milliamps and uh, the resolution of this power supply does not allow me to measure anything less than 10 milliamps so let's increase it and as you can see I can very well set up to 10 milliamps now it's 30 50 milliamps and let's go up to 100 milliamps uh, now let me increase it all the way up to um, up to say 500 milliamps or 0.5 amps and uh, I can go all the way up to 1 amp and uh, that is the maximum setting for my circuit so my electrical load as of now can take maximum of 1 amp so I increase I have increased the chorus setting and now I'm increasing the fine setting and it goes all the way up to 1.02 and which is very good so I'm really happy with the performance of this electrical load uh, in the way that uh, I can set all the way from 5 milliamps or 10 milliamps to up to 1 amps and uh, now there is a problem with this power supply as you can see uh, initially it was set to 4 volts now at full load it has gone up to 4.5 volts so so it's kind of regulation is poor uh, now uh, in in this case uh, the the drop in this uh, transistor is pretty small because the drop across the shunt is always constant at 1 amps there is a uh, drop of 1 volts because the resistance is 1 1 ohms and the rest of the voltage is dropped across this Darlington transistor and uh, the rest of the voltage is let's say 4.5 volts minus 1 volt across the shunt is 3.5 volts so 3.5 volts into the 1 amp and that comes to 3.5 watts so it's not it's just faintly warm so I can hardly feel it so which is fine now uh, another test just to uh, show that the constant current um, control of this dummy load is working fine I have set it to uh, 4 volts and uh, 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps and let me change the supply voltage so this is the supply voltage and I will change and the current in this case is set to 500 milliamps and it should not change irrespective of any voltage setting so I am increasing the voltage and as you can see the constant current control is working pretty nicely all the way up to 15 volts so it this is the maximum voltage that this power supply can give and even at 15.6 volts the drop the the current which is uh, controlled by this dummy load is 0 0.5 amps so this is perfectly fine so i'm really happy with the with the performance of this uh, load uh, but now the the heat sink will heat up which is which is quite well known so that's fine so let me bring it back to 
4.54 volts or something. Now another test uh, for uh, voltage set to 12 volts. So it's set to 12 volts and let me increase the pot. And as you can see the again at very, I can control the current very precisely uh, right from 10 milliamps, 20 milliamps, 30, 60 and it goes all the way up to 500 milliamps and then it goes to 1 amp which is so um, which is good so what I what I mean to say is that uh, for uh, this load electrical uh, load what I have made I can control the current for um, different voltages and the current can be controlled all the way from 10 milliamps to uh, say um, 1 amp and it could be even lesser than 10 milliamps uh, but this power supply as such I cannot see. Now uh, to check the minimum current control uh, capability of my load what I have done is I have connected a uh, multimeter in series and um, this is from Radio Shack so I assume it to be a uh, good one and uh, right now it is showing 0.0, .0 milliamps please note this reading is in milliamps. So right now the current is set to almost nothing there is no current flowing so let me increase it slightly and as you can see the current is rising and as of now I can control in half milliamps also and going further it goes to 3.8 or lesser 2.99 or even lesser to 2 2.6 to 2.5 to 2.4 2.2 2.1 and it comes to 1.96 so I have left the potentiometer and as you can see it's reading 1.95 milliamps uh, sorry for the um, the lighting uh, but as of now it's showing 1.95 milliamps so i can precisely control current in range of 1 milliamps also using this setup similarly uh, i can increase the current all the way up to uh, 14 milliamps or 17 milliamps uh, where this this meter is showing uh, 20 million so it's this meter as such reading is fine but only thing the the least count of this meter is pretty high uh, but the main purpose of this test is to see how precisely or how um, closely my uh, current uh, control works so as of now i can control 17 milliamps and i can increase to 28 milliamps 22 milliamps yeah, I mean uh, basically what I wanted to show is I can control even in the range of 1 milliamps or 2 milliamps so uh, right now what I have done is I have set this current to 5 milliamps that is 4.99 to 5 and let me vary the voltage and let's see how closely it controls the current so varying the voltage I am reducing the voltage right now you can see this reading and this reading as well so I have reduced the voltage but the current remains constant at 5 milliamps so I have reduced the voltage all the way up to 3.7 3.5 so it's working pretty fine up to 1.9 volts also and uh, even if I go further down 1.5 volts 1.2 volts yeah 1.5 volts it still remains at 4.99 or 5 milliamps now let me increase the voltage you can see the voltage increasing and this current remains constant at 5 milliamps and I have increased the voltage let me go a bit faster so even at 15 volts close to 15 volts this remains at 5 milliamps so what I what I'm uh, showing here is the current control capability which is very good at lower current values for I mean the current control capability of the circuit is very good it's very precise and it can control the current very closely now let's check at a different current setting of 300 milliamps and the voltage is 2.5 volts if I reduce the voltage any lower uh, the current drops um, uh, so at higher current values the voltage has to be higher and uh, any higher is fine so voltage any higher than 2.5 volts the current is always maintained at 300 milliamps so i can go all the way up to 
up to 15.8 volts and it always remained at it remains at 300 milliamps and now another testing at a uh, even higher current of 898 or close to 900 uh, milliamps and the voltage minimum i can set is 6.9 volts and any lesser the current starts dropping so the current control uh, loses so 6 point uh, some 6.9 volts or something is fine and any higher than that the current will be maintained at 900 milliamps yeah close to 900 milliamps so now the scale is slightly different so i don't know how accurate is it so it's not in milliamps anymore it's in amps Now uh, for this setting uh, where the current is pretty high and the voltage also high the heatsink becomes pretty hot because uh, there is a lot of power getting dissipated and it can be calculated very easily earlier. Uh, so 13 volts minus 1 volt of drop in the shunt so that comes to 12 volts in the transistor and close to 1 amps so 12 watts or it's not exactly 1 amps it's 900 so about slightly lesser than 12 watts is getting dissipated in this heatsink so it's pretty hot now um, so what I plan is to connect a fan later on so that will serve as a cooling purpose and uh, this is the fan that I got from local market and I'll be using it for cooling my heatsink and it runs all the way from 9 volts to about uh, 12 volts and uh, this should be uh, very good for cooling my heatsink and uh, using such a setting i am plan to increase the current rating of my dummy load from 1 amp to maximum of 2 amps and uh, the power capacity the dissipation should go all the way up to about 24 uh, watts and that should be the absolute maximum and beyond that something might burn up probably this transistor or something so let's have another close look at my dummy load so i'm really happy with the performance of the of this design and I plan to put it in a enclosed box and uh, make another uh, video uh, with the enclosed box.